Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take our two router topology and we're going to finally get into putting in some networks into BGP. So we've got our iBGP setup because everything is in the same autonomous system one. You could see the following IP addresses, all ones for the loopback on router one and a dot two on router two. We've got an extra loopback of all fives on router one and all sixes on router two. The network in between the two routers is 10.10.12x, x meaning the number of the router, so dot one on router one, dot two on router two. So our first order of business is to set up some type of interior gateway protocol, like RIP in this case, and that's going to give us connectivity to our loopbacks, which we'll need for our BGP peering. So if you remember from before, BGP peering, we can peer up what the loopback address is, but in order for us to do that, we have to be able to ping and get to those loopbacks. So we're going to fire up Notepad here. And I've already typed most of my stuff in. So to configure RIP, it would be conf t router RIP no auto version 2. And we're not going to use the cheating way of putting all of our interfaces into RIP. We're actually going to do network 10.0.0.0 and network 1.0.0.0. So that throws in our first loopback and throws in the link in between router 1 and router 2. This is actually going to work out for both routers. So I'm going to copy that into my clipboard. And you can see we've left out the loopback statements, the secondary loopback statements, away from the RIP configuration. And that's uh, by purpose. So we're going to use, go to router 1. You can see the console window there. Enable. I'm going to right click. And there goes my RIP stuff. Pull up router 2, enable, right click, and there goes my RIP stuff for router 2. I'm going to move the console window over for router 2 off the screen. And as I go back to router 1, show IP route just to make sure I have RIP connectivity. I do. And let's see if I can ping 1112. And I can. So I can now start the peering relationship for BGP. Pretty easy. Uh, let's do let's do it from Notepad again. Okay, so it's going to be conf t router bgp one. So that's going to be the same for both sides. We're going to do neighbor one dot one dot one dot two. That's the loopback address of router two, remote as one. And we're going to have to do another statement: neighbor one 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 two update source. And we're saying that we're coming from loopback 0. Because the other side, router 2, is going to want to peer up with our loopback 0. So everything has to match up. Now here's what I'm going to do. Obviously, this is not going to work for router 2. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to duplicate the configuration. And we just have to change up a couple things. So conf t is the same. Router BGP1 is the same. Neighbor dot two we're going to change that to a dot one remote as one is the same and change that to a dot one all right so we're going to copy that bring over router one right click bring over router two make sure i copy the bottom portion there right click enter and in a couple seconds, I should have my BGP adjacency come up. Might take a while because BGP is definitely a slow protocol. I'm going to minimize my. Actually, I'm just going to move my notepad window off screen here. Do a show IP BGP summary. Okay, there goes my adjacency. Show IP BGP summary again. We've got a neighbor statement. We have a uh, time that we've been up or down, so that's good. Show IP BGP. No routes just yet. Well, obviously, because we haven't done any network statements. Okay. And I'll do it one more time. Okay, so we're good on the BGP. Now we just need to do a couple network statements. So the trick with BGP is if you want to use the network statement in BGP, that route, that network, actually has to exist in your IP routing table. So as I do show IP route, 
you can see that I've got my one my one network one zero 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 okay so that's my slash through two that's my loop back zero and I've got my rip stuff I've got my fast ethernet link in between okay so now what I want to do is we actually haven't typed in the loopback information yet on router one and router two so we're gonna do that really quick go into router one int loopback five IP address 5.5.5.5 and it's gonna be a slash 24 and router 2 interface loopback 6 IP address 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6.